Hello I'm Karen and welcome to part two of how to make these lovely little Christmas slippers which are um, four inches in um, for the sole or to turn them into little booties um, and using the stripes obviously these are Christmassy but you can use them for football stripes for your team. Okay so um, right so we on the previous um, video we'd actually got to round four so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use this um, turquoise blue and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo that slip stitch that I did there because if you are going to change over colours it is best to do the changeover on the actual slip stitch okay so let's get that going on there so for round five, we need to obviously slip stitch to join um, from the previous round. And it will leave a gap and don't worry about those gaps, okay? So when you actually do your pulling of your tail ends tight sewn it in, it does finish it off nicely. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so let's just go to my pattern because I have written it down. So round five, <laughs> it says work straight into the next stitch. So that was the slip stitch. So we're going to go into the next one. We're working the single crochet if you're in the US or the double crochet if you're in the UK. And it says to single crochet into the next 12 stitches. So that's, so that's one, two, three can you see all right the light's gone um, down here four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and now we need to work um, single crochet two together eight times. So we're going to go into one stitch, catch the yarn, into the next stitch, catch the yarn. And that's one. This next one is whoops, two, three. four, five, six, sorry, um, seven and eight. And now we need to single crochet or double crochet depending where you're from in the next 14 stitches. So that's one, Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and we can see that the 14th stitch is actually that slip stitch that we did previously. <clears throat> okay, and so what I'm going to do is just pull that tail end a little bit tighter, just there, just for now, and then we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to join. So round six, um, so we're doing the um, special stitch again, so it's chain one, yarn over, work into the stitch, and then put your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two and pull through three. So that's one and it says I need to do this 11 times. So that's one, two, three, <clears throat> four, <laughs> four, five, six, 
9, 10, and 11. Let's twist that the right way a minute. <clears throat> Right, so now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to actually use this same stitch, but we're actually working two stitches together. And we need to do this five times. So you yarn over, you go into the next stitch along, catch hold of your yarn, come through, put your hook into the next stitch along, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So that's one. We're moving to the next stitch along. And that's two. And the next stitch along, if I can get in there, is three. And then the next one along, it is a bit fiddly. Four. And round there, catch hold of that one. And that one is number five. And just put the toe, toe end correct. And then we need to start working the pattern again like we was doing before. So we're going to work into the, the stitch that we've already made and we need to do 13. So that's one, two, three, oops, three. <laughs> five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, and the thirteenth one will be working into the slip stitch from the previous round, which can be a bit tight there. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to just cut off my yarns and I'm going to um, change over colours so you can see. So that realistically, I'm sorry, I know all the tail ends are there, but we've only got one more round to go till we've actually actually made it into the actual slipper. OK, so this will be your final round if you're actually making the slipper. OK, so on this round, what we need to do is slip stitch our new colour um, into place like that I can pull that tail end a little bit there okay and then we're just going to work into the next stitch along so don't work in the same stitch on the single crochet or double crochet around depending where you're from and we need to just work in each stitch all the way around and we should end up by the end of this round having a total of 29 stitches um okay so i've done one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. When we come into these end pieces, you want to go underneath two strands and there's a one loop, like, loop underneath. I've lost count now because I was talking. I'll go back and I'll recount everything. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so just making sure you go underneath those two strands at the top and leaving one at the bottom just to make that be as nice and neat as possible. And make sure you stitch you make sure your stitches fit in, into the middle as well. Because those two stitches that are in the middle, um, that's where obviously the bow is going to go. If you do put a bow on yours, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. And actually at the end of this round, <clears throat> excuse me, I will actually crochet a bow just so that those that want to do the actual little slipper version have actually got their um also got the instructions for the bow. But this one that you should have 29 stitches. So what we'll do as well is I'll just get towards the end. Where's my stitches? There they are. 
and we can see so that slip stitch to join that part of that there should actually be the um 29th stitch so let's just tuck the tail ends in a minute just to make it be easier to go around to count okay so we've got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then this will be your 29th stitch there. And then you'd slip stitch to join. And that will be the end of your round if you're um, doing it into the actual slipper. Yes, you do need to obviously um, manipulate it a little bit and twiddle around with it and just smooth out these edges as you go around and it will actually make your nice little slipper so what I'm going to do is leave that one there I'm just going to get the blue yarn just um, oh my pink yarns come into screen so maybe that wants me to do the bow in pink okay so for the bow you need to I'll begin with a twist um, you can begin with, begin with a slip knot if you prefer but we need to make a chain of four so that's one two three four and you're yarning over your hook twice so that's a uh, um, a treble crochet if you're in the US and it's a double treble if you're in the UK and you need to do that three times and you're always working into that beginning chain so you get three of these there and then you're going to do a chain of three so that's one two three slip stitch into the beginning chain to join that area there that's half of your bow then to go to the opposite side you do a chain of three because you don't need the fourth one because that's the one you're already working into and it's yarn over twice and you do three of those again like that and then one two three and then slip stitch into that beginning loop that you worked into okay and just pull your tail end in I like to always tuck that tail end into the middle myself you don't actually have to and then the beginning tail end you just pull that tight to get rid of the hole out of the middle and um, you can actually wrap this around I like to tie mine in little knots if I'm going to wrap it around that way but obviously I wasn't for my video because I've done um, the little I've sewn on little pearls um, from an old bracelet that I so I'm recycling upcycling little beads <laughs> right then so if you want to then carry on with this slipper to be able to turn it into a little booty we're going to need to do another reduction round so we did the slip stitch to join so now we are moving on to this would technically be then round eight so you begin with a chain one yarn over work into that stitch catch your yarn work into the next stitch so this is the special stitch round there and so it says on my pattern it says we need to do eight of them so i've drawn one two three Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do the reduction just the same way that we was doing the reductions before. I'm just going to put all those tail ends back out again now. Okay, so you're going to go into the next stitch along, yarn over, pull through, and into the next one along, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So that is one, and it says we need to do five. So that's one, two, oops, three, I'm losing my tension on my yarn four and then the fifth one there and then we go back to doing the pattern like we was doing it before so we work into the last stitch that we worked into and we're going to do 
11 of these stitches now so that's one two three oops four five six seven eight oops <laughs> nine ten oops it easy um this is the last one this is a tight stitch there Ooh. 11 okay and so if you're going to be changing the color again so let's just do that so we'll just we'll, oh that's already cut off cut off that yarn there <laughs> there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change over yarn again and then this round is going to be so you'd slip stitch to join there like that i know it's loose i'm going to show you um i should have enough time so this round is just a literally a single crochet round all the way around or a double crochet round if you're in the um uk and um at the end of this round you should have 24 stitches if we, if everything has gone to plan um, and I, honestly i believe that this will have and then all you do to keep on going after this one is you just keep changing so you're going to do this single crochet or double crochet round followed by a special stitch round just to be able to make the height of the actual little um, booty okay so that would be it's it's going to be really easy from now onwards so no more reductions um and so i'm just conscious of the time as well so i just want to just get to the end of this round just to show you that there is actually 24 stitches that we have done everything correctly and then um i'll show you about sh um, how to do the ends and um so that it looks all nice and neat and you can see how we don't get steps with this stripy pattern Okay, so um, we're nearly, nearly there. Ooh. <laughs> right then, okay then. All right, so I've got one stitch left to do. Right, so let's count them. So we've got, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh. And that looks like I'm going to end up with 25. Ooh. Oh, no, because I counted that one as a stitch there, and that was part of the slip stitch, so that's wrong. So that is correct. <laughs> it is 24 stitches, honestly. It really, really genuinely is, because that one would be that final stitch there. And then, say, you're going to slip stitch to join, and you're just going to keep on going. Okay, so you, you will have 24 stitches to be able to do that bit there. Yes, I know it looks a bit all scruffy while it's like that, but you can see that from now onwards, we're going to then move up. So you're going to end up going up so that you do as many as you want so that you can actually, if you wanted to, you can do it like as a little turnover. Um, if you do the turnover, because of the way the stitches go, um, I think that that has that sort of, you see that the, the way that makes that is sort of, is it Nordic? that kind of um, image I just really think that that's just so cute anyway um, so on this one um, let's see so on this one you can see look haven't actually done the ends we've got like the big gaps so it's probably better to see on the blue actually let's get the blue one and turn this one the right way out so what we do is you get to the you're going to pull all of these so that these go really nice and tight and you're going to tie them all into double knots i'm sorry i'm conscious that my camera is going to um, die on me um, because of the power so even though i haven't tied these into knots you can just see just by pulling it together it becomes almost invisible so this is obviously one that we've ever already done it the this is actually the seam is actually there at certain angles of the light you will be able to sort of catch it but if you just rub at your stitches and just sort of tweak at it a little bit you'll see that it's like really really nice and neat so there's no steps okay so 
um i've managed to complete it all so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing i do hope that you do actually have a little go at them um, and obviously because of the football season good luck to every single team and um, whichever team that you actually are and obviously you can make these in your team colors so bye for now